Now, when Anjiri Njiroge was revealed as a face behind the contest of 17 billion shilling diesel consignment, many Kenyans wanted to know more about the 55-year-old oil baron. The national team set out to find the rural home of Anjiri, which is stuck in a sleepy town in Gidunguri, in the county of Kiambu. Her mother, Pauline Njiroge, spoke exclusively to the nation in a humble abode, revealing that she had no idea the amount of money her daughter had or was making. More astoundingly is that she has not seen her daughter in person for the past five years. We begin tonight with NTV's Gina Kirori. The road leading to the home of businesswoman Anne Jerry's mother is as humble as the house we find sitting at the end of it. Amabati Gate greets those visiting the home of 71-year-old Pauline Wanjiro Njoroge, whose daughter, Anjari Njoroge, is at the center of a tussle over the importation of 100,000 metric tons of diesel into Kenya. Yes, I miss my daughter. I want her to come and see me, but she tells me she has been busy. Pauline says she has not seen her daughter for the past five years. I only see her on video calls, and I am okay with that, because as long as she's all right, then I am okay. The Daily Nation newspaper she holds displaying her daughter's face over the headline, Face Behind 17 Billion Shillings Fuel, paints a strange contrast to the humble wooden two-bedroom house the mother of the oil baron sits in, flanked by humble sofa sets with cloths draping over them. And here is the plot twist. Pauline has no idea that her daughter makes the billions of shillings associated with her work in the oil industry, adding that she only knew her daughter runs businesses in Kenya and Dubai. She only found out that her daughter was missing through the media last week. If there is anything troubling me, I tell her via phone. As long as I know my daughter is well and working, that's all I need to know. And if I seek for help, she responds. The mother of four, however, maintains her daughter's innocence, adding that she has never been arrested before for any criminal activity and boils the latest incident down to business rivalry. Pauline describes her daughter as aggressive and a go-getter, but someone who loves a quiet life and was never good with books and studies. Anne Jerry Njoroge has been summoned and is set to appear before the National Assembly Energy Committee on Wednesday. She is expected to shed more light on the 17 billion shilling oil consignment. Ngena Kirori, NTV.